Good afternoon, YouTube. It is Wednesday, March 11th, and I am back. Back for good. Except for next week, because I can't make a video next week. I'm going to be in Los Angeles. Uh, so I'm going to need somebody to fill in for me next week. Just getting that out there now. Welcome to all our new members, uh, some of whom have not posted yet this week, and I'm supremely looking forward to having all seven days filled on Left of Awesome. Kieran, you asked us what our political ideologies are, just to make it clear for everyone. I'm what's called a libertarian communist, and before I explain that, let's talk about the term libertarian for a second. Okay, so at the time uh, that the ideology of libertarian communism emerged, uh, during the 1850s, around the time of the first international, the term libertarian was used almost exclusively for socialists, communists, and anarchists. Okay, um, at the, what we now know as a libertarian in the United States was then called either a liberal or, in some cases, an individualist anarchist. As a libertarian communist, I advocate the abolition of class, private property, capitalism, currency, wage labor, and the state. It is very close in ideology to anarcho-communism. Uh, anarcho-communism actually falls under libertarian communism, uh, as does uh, some traditions of left libertarianism and libertarian Marxism. So, Karan, you can uh, point your questions about anarcho-communism to me. Uh, I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Uh, I can't guarantee that they'll satisfy you, but I will do my best. So Monday, it, at school, in my class Analyzing the Modern World, we were talking about the formation of the modern Middle East. Uh, specifically, we were talking about imperialism. Imperialism defined as the policy or action by which one country controls another country or territory. And under this, we define control as usually achieved by military means to gain economic or political advantage. And we started talking about, is the United States imperialist? I was really startled by how many people were trying to kind of avoid the United States being imperialist. One girl even went so far as to say, if the United States does something that's imperialist, but it has a good effect on something, it's not imperialist. Which firstly is wrong, and secondly is stupid. Imperialism is imperialism. But most people gave an answer that was somewhere along the lines of, the United States used to be imperialist, but it really isn't anymore. Which takes me about 30 seconds to disprove. Recall our definition of control, okay? So we went into Iraq and achieved control there by military means, for economic and political advantage. The economic advantage was our corporations controlled utilities and natural resources, and the political advantage was we had an ally in the region. And so, the United States is imperialist. And that's pretty much all. I really want to take a nap right now, but I have to go to martial arts, so I can't. Max, we'll see you tomorrow. Just in case you still had any kind of interest, the Olympic Mountains.